Hi, it's Dan. This is the week 11 update video for statistics in the spring of 2012. Feeling much better this week. Um, sorry, I was kind of tired and uh, sick last Monday. But um, lots going on right now. This is probably one of the most important uh, couple weeks of the course right now. Um, we are doing more inference with proportions and means. And I'm going to get right to it. Um, in chapters 7 through 9, which is what we're doing now, we're doing chapter 9 this week. And um, uh, under 7 through 9, we've really got, uh, we, the last few weeks we've been doing inference with proportions, inference with means. And now uh, we're starting to do the same thing with two samples. So we're going to be either two sample means or two sample proportions. And um, the formulas are just a little more complex, it's the same idea. You know, with a confidence interval, we're going to uh, try to find the, you know, the difference between the two and then do our multipliers with the standard error. And then with the hypothesis test, we assume equality and to see if there's significant difference. So what I've done here is I've, I've got three videos I've uploaded. Um, this is by uh, someone else, um, difference between two proportions Z interval. It's well made, but it is long. It's 19 minutes. Um, and then I've got two shorter ones that I've made for the difference between two proportions. Uh, one's a confidence interval and one is a hypothesis test. So um, earlier, early this week, let's focus on getting uh, the difference between two proportions. Um, and then we're also going to do difference in two means. And I'll add two or three videos uh, probably tomorrow on the difference between two means. Um, and the only other thing we have before our test uh, next, at the end of next week, either the 12th or the 13th of April, is um, paired data. And that's um, when you test the same people twice or there's a link between the two data. These are all independent samples. So um, hopefully uh, early this week we'll do uh, two sample means and proportions. By the end of this week we'll have difference between two means and including paired data. So I would encourage you to watch these three. And there's probably going to be three to four more added here later this week. Um, and that's all under chapter seven through nine. Make sure you, uh, you know, get the formula sheet printed out, start understanding that. Um, and if you see video over formula sheets and tables, I've got um, how to use the t-table, one and two table t-test, finding t-critical value. This is all about how to use a t-table um, to help uh, and just the difference between one and two tails. So I encourage those. Um, so there's lots to see here, lots to do. Um, in your homework, sometimes I'm going to encourage you to actually follow my videos that I've posted or the ones I've found here for you instead of actually following the author's method. Sometimes the author makes it much more complicated as far as finding things like degrees of freedom and other things. So I'd encourage you to come out here to look for the, the uh, videos and, um, and also for the notes. If you go chapter 7 through 9 and you go to class notes, in uh, spring 2012, I've got tons of examples written up here from last week, and I'll be posting those again this week. Um, and then by the end of this week, I would encourage you to start looking ahead at the test. So uh, if you go back to chapter 7 through 9 and you go to old tests, uh, under old tests, if you look at, um, you know, last fall or spring, I get the last three semesters of exams and videos going over those and everything. So I would encourage you to take a look at those starting the end of this week through next week. And next week really is just kind of review and testing. So obviously you don't have to do this yet, but just want to remind you to, you know, start looking at that. So I'll, I have also posted another discussion board question under course content here. If you go under discussion board questions, I've added the next one. We had the misleading statistics. So if you haven't done that, make sure you get that done. And now it's the link to a study. And if you're going to, uh, for this one, what you need to do is, you know, go find a study online or using the uh, database for the library at DMACC. Um, and then what you have to do is either provide a link or just an abstract of what the study was, what was the question being asked, was it, what was an experiment or observational study, what's the null and alternative hypothesis here, or, you know, what did they think uh, was going on or should be going on, and then what was the test statistics or confidence interval, uh, you know, how did, you know, what was the instrument that they used or the test statistic they measured? And then what was the result? Uh, what would be the errors if they're wrong? And then just things you learn, reactions, uh, if you think there was a bias, and then other uh, questions that you have or that researchers had based on it. So 
This is um, a pretty high-level uh, discussion board question, but I think this is very powerful if you're able to go out and find research and uh, you know disseminate it, look through it, um, and, and find these critical components and ask the good questions about it. Um, uh, as an example, even my, my son had uh, seizures when he was four, four years old, and they wanted to put him on a medication, anti-seizure medication. So I had, you know, of course, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to look for that medication and look for the research on it, any studies they've done, look for side effects, how effective was it. Um, just the ability to read through that was very important um, personally. And, and I've talked to many people, uh, like I'm in education, so I have to read educational research all the time. I talk to engineers and marketing people and sales people and Every, every discipline pretty much has a research body that, in, so whatever your major is or whatever you're interested in, if it's child care or um, just, you know, consumer products or anything, uh, I would encourage you to go out and find some information on it, link that study and answer these questions. So remember this week to do your, uh, you can start working on your, this other discussion board. Also be working on your My Math Lab homework for chapter nine and starting getting prepared for a test next week.